Hi everyone and welcome to the All Things ITSM Global podcast. We're coming to you from BMC Engage in Las Vegas. I'm Kirsty McGowan and I'm here with Carlos Casanova. Hello Christy. And we're chatting with Tarish Gupta from uh, YPRO. Hey, thank nice you. to have you here. Thank you, my pleasure. Welcome Tarish. So Tarish, you know, YPRO, I mean, you're a big partner of, uh, of uh, BMC, you know, a premier level partner. You know, BMC's, you know, come a long way. I mean, they've, they've been releasing, obviously, you know, great new technology. You know, the, the whole conference has been, um, you know, just really eye-opening to, I think, a lot of people and what they're presenting around the digital workplace, digital experience. You know, that's got to be incredible for an organization like yourself that yeah. does so much work mm-hmm. with them. Yeah. And you know, really, you know, services so many of their clients around the world. Uh, you know, can you speak a little bit to that, you know, to, the, to that relationship, you know, and with them, you know, it's got to be in a way interesting, like, you know, they're probably pushing you constantly mm-hmm. to, you know, to do more. Yeah. You know, how does that relationship work, you know, and, and you know, can you speak to, to that, uh, that relationship that you guys have with them? Sure. So our journey with BMC started more than 12 years back. Wow. So in, in effect, mm-hmm. we are more than 10 years working with BMC. Mm-hmm. And uh, we being a global outsourcer and mm-hmm. systems integrator uh, company, who service uh, you know our global customers, yeah. um, so infrastructure services plays a big role in our business, and BMC's uh, product solutions, um, Remedy and the CMDB, they have helped us serve our customers for more than ten years. In fact, our own shared service platform is built on BMC. Right. So we not only you know uh, resell, uh, we, we implement BMC solutions for our customers. We use it internally yeah. as well because we saw the value that BMC brings. Uh, to a partner like us. Sure, sure. So, so you know, from that relationship perspective, so now you have your partners, you know, and now you're, like you said, now you're taking that and saying, okay, now you're adding even more value, you know, so you're satisfying the customers. You know, speak a little bit to, you know, the types of, you know, organizations, the type of work that you're delivering to, to all those organizations. Yeah, sure. So um, if you talk about some of our top customers, for example, Cisco, um, we have been working with Cisco for more than five years, uh, uh, implementing various BMC solutions for them. Um, they are currently more than 14,000 IT users mm-hmm. who are using uh, Remedies. That, that's yeah. quite a big number. Um, so we have rolled out uh, BMC Remedy for them uh, four years back. Um, then we have just upgraded them to 8.1 mm-hmm. version. Uh, we are talking about them on the asset management mm-hmm. solutions. So we, are, we are, uh, you know, some of the customers uh, like Cisco mm-hmm. are more than uh, 10 or 12 of similar size, we have it in, in the United States as well. Yeah. And then we are talking about some of the customers in the Europe region, in the Asia Pacific region, yeah. for whom CMDB, ITSM, self service plays a big role. Yeah. And now uh, down the line, we are seeing a lot of customers asking for IT as a service broker. And that's where we see solutions like My IT. You know, th- that plays yeah. a big role because customers are moving away from traditional service mm-hmm. management, you know, just incident problem and change. Yes. Now, now that's old, yep. right? right? Now the mm-hmm. world that is going towards is a digitalization. Mm-hmm. Uh, they want a single source of truth. We are talking about customers who have multiple outsourcers. So how do you handle multiple partners through a single platform? Mm-hmm. And that's where, uh, you know, we believe that my IT and smart IT kind of solutions, the flexibility that they bring in order to integrate with multiple solutions, multiple CMDBs, that plays a key role for system integrators like us in managing our customers. Perhaps just a little bit of background too for the audiences. I mean, I know that YPRO is a huge company, but I think probably some of the people who are are watching this may not actually grasp just the size that YPRO is. Can you just give a little bit of a background to, to just who YPRO is? How (laughs) how big it is? Tell people. Yeah, sure. What it's all about. So um, we are a global systems integrator and IT solutions company. Yep. Uh, we are headquartered out of Bangalore, mm-hmm. but we have presence in more than 55 countries. Yep. Our total employee strength is more than 150,000 people wow. spread yep. globally. Yes. So we are talking mm-hmm. about 150,000 IT experts yes. working yep. in a single mm-hmm. company. Right? Right. Yep. And uh, our customers are from Fortune 500 mm-hmm. companies to you know, mm-hmm. uh, local players in each of the countries. Yeah. Um, we have uh, more than five data centers. Mm. We have more than uh, 10 uh, service desk locations, which are owned and managed by us. So, you know, when we talk about data center solutions, service desk solutions, right, we have presence globally. Mm. Right. And uh, we provide uh, uh, support to our customers in multiple languages. Yeah. Um, 
and we have been in existence for more than 30 years. Yeah. So, you know, we carry 30 years mm. of experience mm. in deploying IT solutions That's to our great. customers. Yeah, I just thought that, that just puts a little bit more context around yeah. just who we're talking to for the people who are who listening to this, sure. so, to this so, chat. So, you know, so we've been talking a lot in you know, the last two days, you know, the keynotes, everything, mm. talking about this digital experience. Yeah. You know, when you look at your customers, you know, all the clients that you're trying to help, you know, how do you see them reacting to, you know, I mean, I'm mm. sure obviously, you know, it's worldwide, so a lot of your mm. customers aren't here, mm. right? Mm. But how do you see them reacting to this, you know, this transformation, this digital transformation, this journey that, uh, that BMC is taking you on, you know, with to them? How do you see them uh, receiving this, you know, this new vision of things? They are pretty excited. Mm. Uh, most of our customers are pretty excited uh, because the traditional way of uh, IT um, is no longer the buzzword, is no longer that brings value. So a lot yep. of customers are excited about the digitalization around service management, around data center mm -hmm. solutions. Uh, we are talking about cognitive uh, um, analysis, so how you know, solutions like MyIT brings an enterprise together. Uh, the whole um, business is around uh, end user experience, right? Gone are the days where you know you need to uh, raise a survey to an yes. end user to find <laughs> yeah. out how he's doing, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. if mm. somebody is not happy with your solution, mm. they'll just go and delete the app itself, yeah. right? Mm. So yeah. now business is moving more and more yeah. towards mobility, mm. you know, how you enrich the end user mm -hmm. experience, how you can attract the customer to, uh, to the customer retention through yes. mobility is a big, big uh, mm. challenge for every customer. Yes. So that's where we are seeing uh, the customers, they're really excited. They want to know more about the digitalization. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of customers are still not completely aware of what digitalization is because mm -hmm. it's it's a buzzword that has started to come up, you know, in the last few months. Right. So they're interested mm -hmm. to know more. They want to yeah. know how it really brings value to their yes. business. Yeah, and they need to understand, you know, get a common vision of what digitalization actually means. Yeah, absolutely. It, it probably still means a few different things to a few different people. Yeah, because some of the customers talks mm -hmm. about sentiment analysis, mm -hmm. um, so customers talked about yeah. cognitive analysis, mm -hmm. and everything through a mobile platform. Yeah. Right. So how do you remove the barriers of uh, where your servers are located, where mm -hmm. your service desk is? Yes. These days customers don't uh, mm -hmm. care about that, know. right? Mm -hmm. and, and that's that's the key, mm -hmm. right? Is, you know, we, we're, mm -hmm. for many years we were stuck in, well, that's over there. That's, the point that I have to know about that is where the problem was fundamentally yes. broken, yeah. right? I should just say, this is what I want. This is a capability that I want or uh, an item that I want. Mm -hmm. I don't care, frankly, where you're yeah. getting it from. Yeah. I just know that I need it tomorrow morning. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if you need to ship it from around the world, it's on you to yeah. you know, get the Concord yeah. back in service and, and bring it over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or it's in a warehouse mm -hmm. you know, down the road. Mm -hmm. um, and I yeah. think from an IT perspective, we exposed a lot of that mm. over years mm. to those individuals. And I won't mm. get into my cynical side as to why we did that. <laughs> I think it was to justify things yeah. that they didn't mm. understand yeah. and it helped us budgeting. Yeah. Now I think we're trying to cover all that up mm. and yeah. say, you know what, you shouldn't have to worry. And they shouldn't. No, you know, no so, they shouldn't. But in an organization mm. like yours, I can imagine it's, it's gotta be that much more difficult. You know, you said 55 mm. countries or whatever. Yeah. It, it, that adds mm. a whole layer of complexity yes, yeah. to yeah. you know cultural pieces and mm. whatnot. So, so I can imagine mm. you know how do you address those you know those cultural mm. differences? You know when you got companies everywhere. Yeah, so we are trying to standardize. You know, um, a lot of challenge for us is uh, is a typical challenge which mm. any other customer faces or any other company mm. faces. You know, where, where are your stock locations? Where are your asset mm -hmm. locations? Who provides you the service? If I go to one of my offices mm. in London. Uh, can I have the same network settings on my laptop? You know, yes. can I have the same yep. kind of software? Whom do I address? Is my infrastructure team the mm. same? So there is a lot of there are a lot of challenges which even mm. companies like Wipro face. Uh, but now we have done a lot of standardization around the tools platforms, around the technologies that we have. So now it doesn't matter, you know, which location I go for. You know, if I'm in Wipro, if I have a mm. My IT app. You know, right. I pretty much can request for any service. Yes. And then I don't yep. care whether the request mm. goes to my UK office, mm -hmm. it goes to my you know, uh, service desk sitting in Manila, yeah. or service desk sitting over mm. in India. You know, I, I don't really care. Uh, if I want to speak in English language, I don't have to wait for the mm. night hours to start, and then only right, I can right, call right. in yeah. English language, right? right? Yeah. So it's, it's all seamless now. Mm. Uh, so that's, that's where even yeah. Wipro is doing, we have, we have standardized a lot. Mm. Uh, we have an enterprise architecture which defines, um, you know, if I go to a new country, what kind of technology I should mm -hmm. have, what kind of technologies is supported by Wipro. 
So right. we, have, mm. we, have, we have done a decent job. We're still in the journey. I want sure. say we are still reached there. Mm -hmm. It's a long journey. Sure. But, yeah. we have, we, but we have started to go on that path. Yeah, yeah. that's great. I mean, you never get to the end of the journey yeah. because by the time you get there, there's something else. Something else that, will come up. Else it's, it's disruptive. It's yeah, disruptive. it is. And that, I mean, that's the exciting part about the industry we live in. Yeah. It's, there's always something changing, Absolutely. hopefully for the better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Torush, it's been a great pleasure chatting to you and finding out a little bit about YPRO. Yeah, very, very interesting. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.